Let's now speak to the Philippine Embassy's Consul General in Doha, Cather Russell Reyes. Good evening, uh, sir. Good evening, po, ma'am, and to your viewers. Well, can you tell us, sir, first uh, what the situation is like there right now? Uh, just a while ago, uh, earlier, we had all that video of panic buying going on in Doha and in other parts of Qatar. What's happening there? Um, so far, today, everything po is normal. Um, businesses are open, offices are open, um, shops and, and embassies are open. So everything is, is normal. Everything is normal except for the panic buying or natapos na There were isolated incidents isolated. last night, but okay. today um, we have not witnessed any such incident. Okay. So that is the only indication that, uh, that people are, are, be, are getting nervous about this? No. Wala na pong iba? Wala na pong iba. All right. Have you been hearing from Filipino nationals who live and work there? Um, so far, we are receiving queries regarding the situation right now, and um, rest assured that we are trying our best to respond to each and every inquiry that every Filipino here in Qatar might have. Can you tell us what kind of inquiries they've been making, uh, what kind of questions they have, sir? Um, usually, the, inqui the inquiries revolve around their uh, trips. Uh, either trips to other countries in the region or even trips to, to Manila back home. So we do try our best to address each and every inquiry through phone, through our email, and through our Facebook page. All right. What, sir, can you tell us what could be the biggest impact uh, this uh, diplomatic crisis could have on our OFWs, on Filipinos who live there? Um, well, I'm not authorized to, to comment, given the comment on this question, given the sensitivity of the matter. But uh, we wish to assure our fellow Filipinos here in the region and uh, in Qatar and their loved ones back home that the embassy is closely monitoring the situation and that we are maintaining open lines of communication with the community here and that uh, we will keep them apprised of developments and that um, finally we are appealing to our uh, compatriots for, uh, to stay calm and to exercise prudence in the course of uh, our monitoring of these, these events. And if needed, uh, contingency measures are in place and they can be, well, activated any time? Uh, you may have to ask the department for that, ma'am, but uh, of course procedures are in place. Anything else you can add, sir? Uh, the embassy has issued an advisor, issued an, uh, an advisory yesterday, and we do hope that any request for assistance or any any query can be addressed to us, so that we can address, so that we can answer each and every request or query. Um, please be assured that the lines of the embassy are open, and that we will reply to every email or to every Facebook query, even in the soonest possible time. Consul General Russell Reyes, thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Thank you very much, ma'am. Salamat po, sir.